So, so, so when you're taking like an arpeggio like this, and you, and you walk it down, a lot of times what we'll do, right, is just play it through. that's not um, according to what he was saying that's that's um, do you want to stop and start from the beginning is that what he's recommending yeah you want to actually go I'm gonna play through this arpeggio five times for example okay and then you're gonna listen to it as you're playing it through five times so that was one time go down and back up okay so do that five times and then stop and evaluate what you just did. This is also very important. If you have like a journal or your phone with you, you can write down like as you're doing um, uh, sort of evaluational practice, right? Okay. So that you're, so, so you're going, hey, I noticed that when I play this, I have a, the hardest thing to do is to put my pinky on that B string and make sure and I also noticed that that like when I play the uh, the E string or the A string, it kind of buzzes. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe I'm playing it too hard. Okay, now it's, this sounds like a pain, like nitpicking, you know, micro practicing or something. Yeah. But but it's not. If you sit there and evaluate, you go, you write down. Okay, well, what was I doing? Okay, now I'm going to play it five times again, and I'm going to evaluate what. It, is my arm tight? Is this arm tight? Mm -hmm. Really trying to make observations like, is my leg tight? Like, is my, um, do I clench my jaw as I'm playing? Okay, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then go to the chorus part, which is, and if you do kind of what you were doing last time, see, I did, I, I yeah. just stayed on this string and didn't go, the top. yeah. And, or something like that, and you're like, hey, okay, I did that through, I did the chorus through three times, and I noticed that I have a hard time going to that low string. Because see what happens now is you're, then you're gonna focus on, okay, now I'm gonna do the chorus, and I'm gonna make sure that I hit that low string when I come to that E minor, okay? Okay, that sounds better. Now, when you do that, then, then you're like, okay, what were my notes again for the for the verse? Oh yeah, I've got to make sure and make and and not let this A buzz yeah. as I'm playing it. So then you're like, I'm gonna do the verse chords three times through, and then the chorus chords three times through, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that it's very intentional. It's intentional practice, mm -hmm. so that you you uh, you basically you go for it, you observe, and then you like evaluate mm -hmm. so that's what you do you play observe and evaluate and go what did I do wrong instead of well let me just throw on this song I'll just go for it and then if I play it enough I'll get good at it mm -hmm. well that that is good you do have to put in the time but really making the time to go okay did that sound good or was that bad or are the strings buzzing? Because how many times, right, mm -hmm. have you or anyone else come in here and go, man, how come it sounds bad? Mm -hmm. You're know, like, well, I promise it sounded bad at home. So don't but don't yeah. don't wait till you come in here. You can fix the little parts and it'll make a better whole. Yeah, especially with how much yeah. you've been playing, you can do that. You can start to evaluate yourself. And if you keep like a little journal of it, then then that I know it sounds like a pain, but it actually makes the practicing be way more effective and way more engaging mm -hmm. than just, yeah, just going go through, through the song. Because again again again. then you'll be like, oh, it's kind of boring. Let me pull out this songbook. I'm going to do another song. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so 